Um, I would have to say just us mentally. Uh, they're a front runner team, so once things got going well for them, they just kept going and kept pushing. And they're a great team. We've been together for a while, and I think for us, we mentally lost it. Uh, and I'll take full blame for that. I was not engaged the way that I needed to be engaged, and it and it showed. And I can't I can't afford to do that for my team and, and for my coaching staff as well. So I think just came in the stretch. It was just really about mental toughness, and I, I take. All the blame for it because I, I was not there. What do you do personally to improve on that? Uh, personally, I think it's just it's something within myself that uh, I really have to just push through and find. Uh, I have to find it deep, deep down inside and just keep pulling out. And I just I don't know. I, I wish I could tell you, but it's just one of those things where it's just within. It really is within, and I just have to find it. When, when it's happening and you miss a few shots, can you feel it happening a couple times? Um, on helps or whatever, and they're by. I mean, do you know what's happening, or do you kind of have to have him say, hey, what's going on? Uh, it's a mixture of both. Uh, honestly, I get really, really down on myself if I miss a shot. Uh, I don't like missing shots at all. Uh, and, and, it's, and that's unrealistic. Uh, you're, of course, you're going to miss shots, but I think I kind of get inside my own, my own head when I miss shots, and I can't afford to do that for my team or for myself. So uh, I don't necessarily feel it coming like, uh oh, here it comes. Like, oh, I feel it. Uh, but I think just. I think probably Coach sees it before I do, uh, and he just kind of keeps telling me to just keep pushing. He's always in my ear, so I try everything that I can, but I still feel myself giving in to the fact that I'm, things aren't going my way and like I'm not knocking down the shots that I normally do. It's almost a cliche, but it's somewhat true that great players, what, I mean, when this happens, what people want to know is what happens in the next game. Like, yeah. how do you respond to that? I'm sure in college you had some down games, you yeah. responded, so do you do that here? Yeah, definitely. I, in the league that we play in, you just got to keep pushing. Uh, games are so quickly, they come around so quickly, so you really don't have time to be down on the last game. You just have to keep pushing through. Uh, and I think that's what I have to, I have to speed up my process of doing that. I can't really wait till the day before and say, okay, I'm going to snap back. Like, I have to let it go as hard as it may be, but I have to continue to do that. Being the bench fourth quarter close game is not something you're used to. What's going through your mind right now? Sitting or watching the game sort of get out of control and I don't know exactly. I'm just trusting the fact that I just didn't have it. I didn't I wasn't who I normally was and I it was worse for me to be out there than to just be on the bench. Uh, we got people coming in that play great minutes and I didn't want to go in there and make it worse. Uh, on myself and on my team. So just on the bench, you know, I have to go out and be the best cheerleader that I can in those situations. I have to grow in that area, and uh, I'm going to keep pushing and continue to do that the best way that I can. What was Candace able to do so effectively today? Uh, I mean, she shot the basketball great. Uh, she uh, really kind of missed the shot. She was really into it, uh, and that's kind of tough to guard, especially when her teammates are doing the same. They, they fed off of her. And I, I think it comes back to me because I was guarding her and I shouldn't let her get the shots that she was getting. But I can only control what I can control in those situations. But I think she did, it was just one of those games where she had it. Asia, Jamila Johnson, WNBA Insider. I was just um, wondering, with Coach, he didn't sugarcoat anything with us telling us how you have the responsibility. What is it like having that type of leadership? I mean, in the same breath, he said you're one of the best players in the league. So what is it like having that kind of leadership lead you through this rookie year? Um, it's really good. It's really good to have a coach that, like you said, doesn't sugarcoat and lets me know straight up. Like, you have to be there every single night, no nights off. And I'd rather have it that way than him continue to pat me on the back for things that are unacceptable for me as a player. So for him to come out and say that, uh, I'm going to take it all in stride. I'm going to do my best to uphold the responsibility that I have as a leader on this team, and I'm going to continue to push through uh, and not get in my head so much, and but kind of lean on my teammates a lot more. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.